So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can export any kind of content that you have saved to your resources area in Schoology and then bring it into Schoology again. The reason I'm showing this is if you are going to be um, moving to a different learning management system or you're going to be moving to a different school district that does use Schoology and you want to bring the content that you created over to the Schoology you're going to be using in that district, you can export all of your content and then import it later on. So the first thing you're going to do, which I'm not going to go over in this video, is you're going to save a copy of your course materials to resources, which is a very simple task to do. You can take a look at another video that I have to do that. And then once you have saved it, right now you are looking at my resources and you can see here I have a bunch of stuff in my resources. And in order to now export the content that I saved, I'm just going to do one course as an example. I'm going to come over to this menu option over here, and you can see there are three different options, reorder, import, export, and we're going to select export. So the file type that it's going to export as is this common cartridge, which is compatible with a lot of different learning management systems. And then you can see here, it's going to ask you, well, where is the folder or the content that you want to export? Where is it located? By default, it says the home collection. I have actually separated my resources into a number of different collections, and I actually, any courses that I have saved and backed up, I actually created a collection called Course Backup. So I'm going to go over there. This is where I have have courses that I have saved and backed up and you can see here I have a number of different courses you just want to pay attention to um, the course title here doesn't have any dashes next to it underneath it you will see dashes next to it that represents all the different folders that are within that course so you want to make sure that you are selecting the course itself and that will grab all of the content that is underneath it represented by those dashes so let's say that I want to export my algebra course all the materials are there I'm going to click export and depending on how much content you have in that course this could take a little bit of time you can see here you will get this green banner at the top and it is in the process now of being um, exported so I'm going to click on this link here to bring me to my transfer history so this con this particular course didn't have a huge amount of content so that actually went very quickly however if it doesn't go very quickly and you're just kind of sitting here you can refresh your screen until it says complete and then you will um, be able to then go on to the next step which is to download it so now that this has been exported we need to download this so I'm going to click on the little cogwheel next to the course backup and I'm going to click download and I'm using Chrome right now, so you can see here it shows up over here. I'm going to click on this drop down, and if I go to Show and Folder, I will be able to see that that file has completely downloaded and now is available to me. So if I wanted to move it into some kind of cloud storage or a USB or something like that, I would be able to do that until I am ready to import it into my new LMS or if I'm moving over to a different school that uses Schoology. So what I'm going to do now is actually go through the process of importing this. So if I hear show and folder, you can see this is the file. It's in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to close this right now just so I know where the location is. And now I'm going to go through the process. Let's say I am now on my new learning management system or I'm in a, a different school district using Schoology. After I log in, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, this obviously is an example of doing this in Schoology. It will look different in other learning management systems. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Resources. And then I'm going to go through a very similar process. I'm going to click on this drop down, and I'm going to click Import. And the file type, as we remember, is Common Cartridge. And it's going to ask, where do we want to import this to? Do you want to put it in an existing collection that you already have? Um, if it's going to be a new collection, so let's just say this is my imported content, whatever you want to call it, and then I'm going to click Next. Uh, it does note that um, if you ever use the test or quiz feature available in Schoology, that these things will not transfer over. So now I need to locate that downloaded exported file, which we remember went into our Downloads folder. Here it is. And then I'm going to click Open. And it's just going to follow the prompts. So you can see here, these are all of the, um, the content that it's going to, to put in. So I'm going to click Select All. 
and then I'm going to click convert. And again, we can see it's being currently transferred. I can go back over to my transfer history. So you can see here it's pending. So depending on the length of time, you can you know refresh your screen and see it where, where it is in the process until it's complete. So I refresh my screen a couple of times. It has now completed the process of importing my content. So now if I go back over to resources, and remember I created a new collection for this called imported content. So I'm going to click on there. And now you can see these are all the folders, all the content that was part of that course that I had backed up to my resources. And I now have the ability to bring all of this into my course when I am ready to do so. So I could bring all of it over by clicking this and then I can click the edit button and I can click add to course and bring everything in or I can just select the folders that I want to bring in and bring other things in um, when I'm ready to do so. And that's a little quick summary of how to export material from your resources and then import it back into an LMS. Primarily the one we are showing here is Schoology.